What up, what up, Mr. Hip Hop Vegan coming with another video. Hopefully everybody's doing great. It's been a minute. I'm back at it. Just had, you know what? I, I have, I really have nobody to talk to. So I turn on the camera to talk to the camera and just share this, share this to the world. You sit and you think and you think and what happens to some people or what happened to us in general, we think we're just more special than the next person. You think you're not going to die. You think that you're somewhat some special being and if, if you watch different things and stuff like that, you can see the the ego in people, the ignorance in people, the curse of society. What I mean about the curse of society is everybody has, everybody is individually themselves. However, you're also the death of yourself. And I'm not trying to sound no proper, no, <clears throat> no, how you say, some, some type of know-it-all or something like that, because that's what they use. That's what people use. You start reading, you start reading books, you start studying, you start knowing stuff, and people say, oh, because you read, you think you know. You start talking about health, oh, you're not a doctor. I never claim to be a doctor. I just study doctors, listen to doctors. You start talking about uh, saving finances, oh, you think you're a, a economist, Financial advisor. I'm not a financial advisor. I just know for me what works for me <clears throat> Everybody's smarter. Everybody's the smarter person in the room. Everybody is the the um, The know-it-all everybody wants to have the last word That's why it's important to be yourself in any room in any place you go. You're going to die Most people don't understand that they're going to die you yes out of a billion semen running through the, the female, you were picked and you survived and now you're alive. However, that doesn't make you a special being. You're going to die. You look for, for things, you look for materialistic things to, to you think that's gonna Put you on a different platform. Put you above somebody. Money is good. Money is great. Money is is a tool. Some people get the tool and they and it depends what they do with it. It helps them out or it doesn't help them out. <clears throat> You're going to die anyways. That's the problem. That's the the, the toughness. I'm stuck in the middle of living in the matrix and then unplugging from the matrix and just disappearing from everything because you're going to die anyways we want this life of fun we want this life of oh of this and that but then we get to the point where we want to be the most righteous the more the most intelligent being in the planet and then you find out you just die like that we start believing in people we start believing in people and we start believing in people that you think is doing something to you, but they're really grooming you to not be who you really are. You're gonna trust people who are not supposed to be trusted. Your own family members will let you down. Your own friends will let you down. They will sleep with your women. They will, they will, they will go behind your back. They will get upset. And these are supposed to be the people that you, you look up to or you figure that they're, they're, they're they're the person that you thought was supposed to be there at any time, which they're not. People are just gonna leave and people are gonna die and that's it. You're just gonna be, for, you're gonna be forgotten. Now, any day you're just gonna be forgotten. Malcolm X at his time was great and now he's forgotten to, an appoint, to an, a certain point. No matter how much high status they have, you're just a memory to a point. And then when that memory ends, People will forget about you. 
people will forget about you. And I, and I look at my phone. I don't know, my other, my, my other phone is over there. You look through your phone. You go to the social media. Everybody's doing great. Everybody's living it up. Everybody is showing their positive side, their best side. And if you do show your, your sad side, your negative side, you're just, um, how you say it, you're just um, not there with the people. You're not there with the people. So when you sit there and you think and you think and you think that you're doing something at the end, you're not really doing that. What change are you really doing? Are you really changing yourself? Or are you changing the people around you? Or are you doing it just for a different purpose? Because everybody has a purpose. You use it, you don't use it. You live this vegan lifestyle. At the end of the day, you're going to die. Who lives the longest? Who's this? I have mentors that were pure... Pure, pure, pure to the pure of the pure of the veganism lifestyle. Die. Death. The only thing that we know is going to happen. Becoming a millionaire, you don't know is going to happen. Becoming a billionaire, you don't know what's going to happen. 99.9.9% .9 of the people who read or watch my videos are not going to be a millionaire or a billionaire. Which is going to be living that same old life. So as you... Have a chance to put in that energy, that work that you want to put in. Are you really going to be that that person that you want to become? Most likely you're not. And sometimes the truth hurts. And, and I'm just saying this because I'm just talking to the camera. And I'm really talking to myself. Because I let myself down. You try to give and you give. And then people take advantage. And you become this nice person that people would. And, and the thing is. When you start saying no, and you start saying no, people start hitting you. Even if you don't have a lot, you start saying no. They're gonna, they not, they're not gonna, they're not gonna like you. They want you to be the yes man. They want you to be yes. Here, give me this. Uh, follow me. You're not that smart. You're not that smart. You're not that smart. You don't talk intelligence. You don't believe in what I believe in, so you're not really important. You argue with self. You read knowledge of self. You read these people. And they're doing the same thing. I'm here drinking a beer. It's only my first beer for the day. And it's late. I just wanted to drink a beer today. So as you study and you and you recognize the, the faults and, and, and the things. And I created another YouTube channel. Um, and, and I named it DDS Lifestyle. That means doing dope shit. So my life from 2022, which would be in a week, which would be in two weeks, is just doing dope shit. Not listening to the people who, who that negative lifestyle is not going to work. This chasing and chasing and chasing. And by the time you catch it, at the end of that catch, it's just death. So are you creating memories for other people or are you creating memories for yourself? People are not your friends. People are not your family members. People are just people. This blood is sticking in water. All this blood, blah, this and that. Is, at the end of the day, their life is more important than yours to themselves. As your life should be more important to yourself. You work with people, you, you, you build with people, you, and the people that are close to you are supposed to be the people that let you down. There are supposed to be the people that let you down are the people that are close to you. When a stranger do something to you, uh, whatever. But when it's somebody close, it's even worse because you'd be like, man, they let me down. They let me down. And at the end of the day, that's really you letting yourself down. Because as you fight yourself, as you fight the world that you want to be, leave the matrix and unplug. We fight, you're not going to win. You can't beat the government. They've been trying to beat the government for hundreds of years. The African Americans have been fighting the government for 400 years here just in America itself. Still some control, there's still some control, there's still some control. So who you gonna who is you going to be 
at the end of the day. Who are you going to be at the end of the day? And who are you going to be at the end of the day? Because nobody gives a fuck about you but yourself. And I would say either your mom or your dad, who's ever in your life, or both at the same time. And most likely your mom more because mothers just got that motherly instinct. But at the end of the day, who else? And, and I see it with twins too. Maybe if you have a twin, that, that bond is different. But when your mom, depending if your mom or your dad is around, your dad's mostly tougher, you know, and stuff like that. If you have a dad around growing up, but your mom is going to be there at the end of the day. Most moms, most, um, most, uh, most mothers <laughs> who are around. You got your crazy ones and you got your crazy dads and you got your crazy mothers. It's just, it is what it is, but. This is not me talking to you. This is me talking to myself. It's like right now I got a mirror and I'm just talking to myself. So I'm not telling you what to do. It's me just talking to my camera because I'm gonna I'm gonna see it later. Nobody to talk to. Who you got to talk to? Who's not gonna go behind your back and use it against you later on? Who do you have to talk to when? And I, I and I do it all the time. I, I throw <laughs> it's like I'm fishing, boom 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 boom. I'm, I'm fishing, boom boom. I throw it out there. I, I'm good. That's what I do a lot. I'm good at it. If you don't, I'm good at throwing a bait and see what people are gonna do with it. So I throw a bait, see what you do, and then I understand. Damn, I can't talk to this person no more. Cause if I do try to tell tell them my real thoughts, most people are gonna know my real thoughts, and then they use it against you. Oh, you this, you're that. So who are you supposed to cry to at the end of the day? You thought you had friends, and then you cry to friends, and then at the end of the day, oh, when time gets to the point where you're not friends no more, they'll use it against you. They'll use it against you. And I do it all the time just to see what people are gonna do. They're going to go behind your back and talk to your exes. They're going to go behind your back Disrespect you, so that's why you have to respect these people who don't, who got these. I don't give a fuck attitude. You gotta respect them. You gotta respect them. You got to respect the people who don't give a fuck what people say about them. You gotta respect the people. That's why the people who don't give a fuck gets respected. The people who got no filter gets respected. So when you stop having no filter, when you stop having no filter, you get respected. You can use different different things on it. These cowboys, <laughs> they used to smoke cigarettes with no filter. And it made them cowboys seem like they were stronger or tougher because they had no filter. No filter, if you have no filter, people really can't do shit to you because you don't give a fuck. You got a voice. Are you giving voice to the voiceless or are you giving voice to yourself? Because at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter who you giving the voice to. People are going to have their own identity. People are going to have their own ideologies. People are going to have their own, their own space. And some people want their personal space. And what happens is people, take, people can, uh, get taken advantage of all the time. Taken advantage of and not knowing that at the end of the day, you're just going to die. Are you going to be a memory? For how long? How long is your memory worth and how long your bloodline is going to be like, yo, Ah, oh, this person, I really loved them. For how long? Had a friend who died, and the only thing some of these people were doing, just ransacking their things and collecting their things. At the end of the day, my goal is to have nothing to leave back. <laughs> Ain't nobody coming to where I live at talking about, oh, I want this, I want that. I'm taking, I'm taking, I'm taking. Because most people would take, not giving, they would take. They take, they take. People are the smartest, anybody around, even now. The thing is now, you can see the matrix at work. Social media, you can see the matrix at work. You can see the matrix at work. Back in the days when the first matrix came out, you didn't really see it as much as now. You didn't see it at all, the matrix, as like you see it now. You go online, you be like, yo, that's fake. Yo, that's fake. Yo, that's not real. That's not, that's not real, that's fake. That's not really happening, that's fake. You can see it, you can see it through the phone, you can see the matrix working. 
And you're gonna see it more when you have the, the metaverse, you're gonna see it more NFTs, people are selling shit you can't even touch. People are, uh, are living in a metaverse where you're not, you, you're living in some made up world and people, they said that real estate can't be duplicated and there's not gonna be enough real estate. And what they did is they just put it on, on they put it and they made their own metaverse. <laughs> When people start thinking, when people start thinking, they be like, you know what? It doesn't have to be a physical real estate. It can be something online. And they're doing that with NFTs. And now you see everybody talking about NFTs. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make this card an NFT. I'm gonna make this Corona NFT. By the end of the day, is NFTs really gonna be creating are gonna be worth anything because everybody just creating an NFT. You see it happen all the time. Make it an NFT. Make it this. Stuck in the matrix, and then you die. And who? Hmm. Then you die, but will you die in the metaverse? With the with your life on the metaverse, would just keep going. Are you truly the person who's living in that metaverse? So when you pass away, what happens to your life on the metaverse? Does it just keep going? Is that like a piece of your soul inside the metaverse? They say real estate is real estate, and at one point they said, you know, it can it can run out. <laughs> If they start building in the rainforest, they start going to the jungles, they start building. If they really wanted to, they'll go to Sentinel Island and start killing other indigenous people if they wanted to. They can do it if they wanted to. Because you just throw one missile in there and they're all dead, right? And you take the island and it's yours now, right? Isn't that the way these savages think? We need more real estate. We need some more beachfront. So let's kill people for it. You go to Cuba. You get more time for you get more time for killing a uh, 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 you get more time for killing a cow than you get for killing a human being. So if they catch you killing a cow and and getting the meat to eat, you get more time than killing somebody. You go to North Korea and you got people who's telling you what to do. You can't laugh. You can't drink for the next eleven days because they're celebrating. Uh, Jim, whatever his name is, Jin Dung Um, whatever his name is, they're celebrating his dad's anniversary death or something like that, and you can't drink or eat or or talk or you can't laugh. Read an article. You got people controlling people to an extent where they 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 treat them like savages. So that's why people are creating the metaverse so they can get away from this physical world where in the metaverse, because online you can be whatever you want. You can cut everything off. I can go online and create a new person. I don't have to be me. I can create this person that's a fictional person and people will believe it. And it's happening every day. This fictional lifestyle that we portray is gonna become real life now or, or, or metaverse life where we just create people who don't exist and most likely they might get credit scores in the metaverse like, oh, you ain't pay, you ain't, they're gonna start paying, making you pay water bills. You got gas fees when you buy them because they have to somehow, you have to somehow, um, when you put them on the uh, Ethereum uh, um, platform, they're gonna charge you gas fees. So what type of other fees are gonna charge you in the metaverse? What other fees are they gonna start charging you in the metaverse? Do you sow? Do you die in the metaverse? Do you die from on the physical life and go to the meta, metaverse and be like, oh, I'm a new person now? Who's, who's gonna start controlling you, your, your metaverse person? So is, is it really money now? Is you buying a $350,000 piece of land or something like that? Somebody in the metaverse just paid $400,000 to be Snoop Dogg's neighbor in the metaverse. What kind of shit is that? <laughs> Who would ever think that that's, that's what we'll be at? So now we're just living in the matrix. How are you gonna unplug? Cause death is around the corner. Like I said, the only thing that promises death, you don't know how you're gonna die, how you're gonna do it, who's gonna do it for some people, why they're gonna do it, who are you chasing, who's chasing you? Is the government, is it yourself? Because people always have uh, statements. People always got something to say. People know it all. And at the end of the day you die and what's that information worth? Can you put that information in the metaverse now and now it, it, it runs forever? Are you creating your life or somebody else is gonna be creating your life? Are you just gonna be a puppet in the metaverse where you can, they can 
you can be a puppet here and then you can be a puppet there also. And the puppet is, is they just control you and you let them control you. And we're not going to talk about the jabs and, and we're not going to talk about because you don't believe in what you don't believe and I really don't care what you do anymore. I really don't. There's somebody out there who does care about what you do or not with your own life, even though their life sucks. There's somebody online who cares about what the fuck you do. There's a congressman who's telling women not to get abortions. A man telling a woman what to do with her body is out there. Only here in, the, in, in this world, not only in the US. You get caught with weed in a different country, you might die. You get caught weed here in the US, you get a ticket. And in some places, you can just smoke and, and go your happy way. You pick and you choose. What, what world you want to live in? What you want to choose, what you want to pick, what you want to do with your life? Because you only have one. And now with the metaverse, you might have more than one. How many different, how many different worlds are they going to build? How many different worlds are they going to build? How many times are you going to be able to, to... It's like a computer game. If you die, do you come right back in the metaverse? At the end, you're going to die, and, you're in, and the ignorance that you have is going to be the, the uh, detriment to society. It's going to be the detriment to society. We roll in circles, we roll in life. But death is the only thing that promise. You don't know who, when, where, what. That's the, that's the secret of life. You can eat yourself to death. You can kill yourself. You can... You can um, do scary jobs. You can, um, or you can just unplug and go live in the go live in the in the forest somewhere. Go live in the woods, which some people do, and people don't care. They don't care about this materialistic thing. But then, especially here in the U.S., especially in this Eastern Hemisphere type lifestyle, this European centric lifestyle, is you need the nicest things, which is nice to have. And then are you working that just to have the nicest things or are you or are you competing with somebody to have the nicest things because you want people to think, oh shit, he got the nicest thing. And now we can go online for and show everybody what we have. I remember back in the day, you didn't want nobody to know what you have. Now you want everybody to know what you have. What's the system? Are you living in the matrix? Are you going to unplug? The only thing that promises death. Death is the only thing that promises. And now I'm gonna stop talking. Should I upload this video or should I not? Everybody's everybody is special. <laughs> they think they're special. Me, 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 I know this, I know that, I'm special. I deserve this, I want that, I'm special. I'm this, I I I, I live this lifestyle, I'm special. And people will take your life because they think they're more special than you are. So that's all I have to say for right now. Maybe I'll make another video later on today, but I'll go upload this and see where that goes. Stuck, right? It's like, it's like you're living in two worlds. You're stuck in a, in a place where knowledge is self and then you, you want to get out of it and then you want to jump back in and you, you don't know what's right and then these, these people are here and then you get in a relationship and then you have to worry about somebody else controlling your life and you controlling somebody else's life and, and then you have kids and that's, that's another outcome and what they're going to do or they're going to become a, 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 a human being to the society or they're just gonna become a little devil in society or they're going to become great or they're just going to be another piece of shit. And then because it's part of you, you might think, oh shit. You might think you're better than the next person. You might think you're better than that person in that island by himself. You might think you're better than that person in the woods because you got the Gucci. Oh, I got this. You see online every day. Like I said, they're going to treat you like shit. Everybody does because everybody got that ego. Everybody want to be better than the next person. You can't. You don't want to You don't wanna hurt somebody's feelings because, you know, they smarter than you. They... They, they, they know more than you. People, people would, because you read, people would, <laughs> people would, because you read, people would talk shit about you. That's all I got to say.